Hello, Mum. I'm still here. How are you? And in fact, in Uzbekistan, we have 24 UN agencies, funds and programs, and I lead that group, um, who are working to support and transform agriculture, health, migration, child protection, women's equality, um, environmental standards, etc. And we really want to build on some of the, let me put it, um, uh, mod modest partnerships we have today. Um, for example, with UCEL, uh, UNICEF has a partnership which is much appreciated, but we want to build a more systematic engagement. It's not enough to, uh, you know, come once a year to Global Entrepreneurship Week. Um, it's not enough to um, have partnerships through technovation, bringing science, technology, um, engineering and maths to uh, young women and men across the country. We need to build a more comprehensive set of partnerships because it's, it's, it's the right thing to do um, and it, uh, it not only taps into all the rich uh, ideas and innovations that business sector can bring, but it also helps to support the broader growth, the broader transformation uh, in Uzbekistan, which I think everyone here today uh, is supportive of. So in conclusion, um, I, I really want to um, you know, say we are open for all partnerships possible. Um, we, we really want to um, uh, strengthen our engagement um, with you, with both the next generation of entrepreneurs and the current um, uh, generation of entrepreneurs in Uzbekistan. This is a really more important now than ever with the pandemic. Um, Uzbekistan is projected to be one of only two countries in this region, the wider region, not just Central Asia, um, that will see positive growth. Um, but we want to, uh, to really help drive that growth in a way that is sustainable for future generations. And that means working together with you. So thanks very much, and I'm happy to answer any questions you have. Our students can get all these skills, and like this is something which uh, took me like most of my life to understand. But <laughs> I was wishing that this could be picked up uh, by universities and uh, students themselves and they would work on these uh, valuable skills which uh, would lead them to a success. Uh, I, I don't have doubts about this. So uh, I thought the main attributes uh, would be uh, values and then soft skills, hard skills, and motivation. So if, oops, sorry. if, if we took values, I, I, I took these uh, values, actually these are the values uh, which uh, we as the founders and the board of university uh, entered and I think that this is the most important values for a um, for person who wants to uh, be engaged actually in, in all fields of activity but I, I think it is very important for entrepreneurs. Uh, it's inclusivity and engagement, uh, it is uh, honesty, transparency and integrity and very important uh, um, thing that uh, not to be like too hesitant to fail. This happens, you know. So 
uh, I would really love our students to learn to fail and I would really love our society to be more tolerant to failures and errors uh, because for entrepreneurs it is very important. You know, I, I read that um, even in America, over 95% uh, businesses uh, which set up fails. Like, uh, why say America? Because, like, you know, they are, they are very famous with the, the, their, I would say, like, entrepreneur uh, liberties. But even then, you know, 95% of companies uh, fail within the first three years of their activity. And uh, actually, when they think of uh, entrepreneurs of being some kind of mean and greedy people, I think, in contrary, they are quite altruistic because they do invest, they risk their time, their resources, their money, uh, their property to do some business in 95% just to teach us how it shouldn't be done. You know, like to teach in society. And, uh, it was an important article when I, uh, like, you know, important thing I noticed in that article that when they start a second time, this reduced to somewhat 70% that odds, yeah? Oh, okay. And then third time it goes this, and it's only fourth or fifth time when odds are in favor of success. So um, that's why I think it is important. We all make errors, we all fail, but you know, that shouldn't be something discouraging us uh, eternally from uh, trying to do things. Then, uh, actually I, I thought of uh, skills and uh, uh, most skills which I think essential for students or graduates when they start their business or join a te other teams and businesses is uh, soft skills. Actually, th th that is very important in uh, university education to bring them up and uh, really show their importance. Uh, we see how the world is changing. Um, you know, hard skills, so-called, yeah, they are changing. Like, you know, the things, the way we do business is changing every day. Uh, the, the instruments, uh, uh, I mean, I would say, even like, you know, physical world is changing so fast. Uh, and, uh, and only that soft skill, the attitude and uh, 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 emotion and intelligence, that is things which actually help us all adopt and succeed in the modern world. And uh, it is very important to learn how to make friends and uh, how to manage conflicts that is uh, very important in any uh, teams and societies. And uh, I, I put here emotional intelligence uh, for students to be self-aware and uh, taking it even further to be self-regulating and uh, taking it even further to have a, a good sense of empathy, not only understand yourself and try to, but also to understand how uh, your act or, or circumstances affect other people's opinion and their feelings and uh, positions and uh, to be uh, to learn how to socialize you know like really how to behave in a, a society how to build these uh, interactions in society for entrepreneurs especially and especially for, uh, uh, like, you know, I'm in a retail business, you know, you, you speak to people. It is, like, you know, we, we call always business B2C, B2B, etc. Actually, business is P2P, people to people, you know, like, it's not this. So, um, to strike conversation is very important uh, skill, I would say. And also what I found, the most successful entrepreneurs were always a good storytellers. And the storytelling, I would put here as a skill uh, and uh, uh, it takes a lot maybe for that but uh, uh, if you look all famous entrepreneurs you will see that they are very good storytellers and uh, and, and that is a sum of attribute of uh, success in the modern uh, business you are lucky guys because like you have so much more instruments to research than we had when we started However, 
I am not sure if it is uh, uh, just made life much much easier because it's like you know too much information is also a challenge and the, in, in this I would say like uh, flow of information you should catch that single uh, thing which uh, which is important for your success like in, in the business uh, uh, like in our business you know we daily come with a different uh, to different challenges and we know hundreds of ways things shouldn't be done but it is so much more important to find that one way things should be done and uh, for that you need really um, ability of searching information collecting relevant data analyzing them but here a lot of people stop like a lot of my employees when you ask them a question they go they search information they analyze and they come without conclusion and uh, I always challenge them I say like look because that is uh, making conclusion or bringing up results is always responsibility and and uh, one soft skill comes here is uh, ability to assume responsibility and come up once you do this research once you do this analysis come up with your decisions and if you don't if you're not able to do decisions and you just come search and analyze that's uh, like you know that's like cooking plof and not eating it <laughs>